I'm going to plug it into USB, plug, and ta-da! Now I'm looking at the Zoom experience, which is designed to be a companion to Windows Phone. If you've used Windows Phones already, you might be familiar with the Active Sync application on the PC. That's gone. We don't have that anymore. Zoom, thank you. <laughs> Zoom is the companion experience on the PC for Windows Phone. So uh, I'm not sure how many of you have played around with Zoom. It's a free download, lots of cool stuff in it. It works with all the music that you have. Um, it easily finds music. It coexists with other players very nicely. Here's my album view, for example. Here's my artist view. I can scroll down through lots and lots of artists. The quick play experience in the Zoom uh, is, is actually very nice and very much like what you see on the phone. Uh, we haven't preset this up, but I'll give you a look. There's music that's new. Here's music that I've been playing. Um, I can pin music and so on. Of course, I can browse the marketplace in here to look for music or video or applications, as you've seen today at Zoom HD. And since I plugged the phone in, um, over here, you can see my corner is, is showing you the device tab. I'm, I can look at the quick play, my collection, the marketplace, or the device. When I pick device, this is my phone. This is My phone's name is Galaxy 6. You can see it's a Galaxy 6. That's what it looks like. We will get actual phone images, so you'll see a picture of your phone. And if I want to browse the content that's on it, that's super easy using the PC connectivity. So here's all the music that's actually on my phone device. This is real. This is what's really there. So if I want to select some music and manage that music within the PC, I can multi-select, right-click, and say delete from Galaxy 6, and it's gone from the phone. I can browse the videos or the pictures on the phone and so on. Um, and if I want to take stuff from my collection, we'll take the 1984 album, for example, I can just drag and drop it onto the phone, and it will sync. And in the background, that'll sync and update if I come back to the device summary, you see the syncing is happening. It just added the nine items, which are the songs from the 1984 album. It's as simple as that. I pull the USB plug, and I'm done. Uh, now, for those of you who are familiar with Zoom, you might be asking yourself the question, well, USB sync is nice, but isn't this the 21st century? It's a phone, for goodness sake. It has Wi-Fi. It has a cell network. Can you sync wirelessly like Zoom does? Absolutely, yes. And the thing that's worth mentioning about that is that wireless sync with a phone, in my opinion, is much more compelling than wireless sync on a multimedia player. The reason why is that people use their phones every day, they deplete the battery in a day or two days, and they bring them home and they plug them into a charger to charge to use the phone again. And the way our wireless sync works is whenever you take your device and plug it into power, we wake up and check and see, am I on my home wireless network? Am I on my home wireless network? And if we find that you are, we initiate a sync automatically in the background. Now what that means is some great scenarios. For one, think about photos. We did a focus group and look, looked at some of the most popular smartphones today and found that most people never bother to get their pictures off their phone. One way that we're addressing this problem is with auto-upload of photos to Windows Live, the scaled-down version for sharing. But another way we're addressing it is with Wi-Fi sync, automatically getting the full resolution version of all your photos off your phone and onto your PC every single night when you take it home and plug it into charging. All your pictures replicated from your phone to your PC without you having to do any extra work. So that's one great scenario. Another great scenario is when you get